Juan Ayuso is one of, if not the most talented Grand Tour prospect in the current peloton. He's already finished third in the Vuelta a España, he's got Alberto Contador and Joaquim Rodriguez numbers on speed dial, and he's got Tarek Pogaccia as mentor at UAE. Who is Juan Ayuso? Why should you care? And just how good can you get? While being born Spanish, Juan Ayuso lived in Atlanta, Georgia, USA, from the age of 2 to 7. In his own words, here his family picked up an American way of thinking. I was going to say that Spanish people are terrible at organizing things, at logistics, on everything and I think my father acquired that there and he's passed it on to me. Spanish people are, hmm, I don't think I have to explain. When he returned to Spain, he was a bit of a football prodigy, being signed by his local club. It's here he met his best friend, who introduced him to cycling. He took part in a club ride, where they lent Juan Ayuso a bike, and the rest is history. This was around the same time where Spanish cycling was flourishing, with childhood idols Alejandro Valverde, Joaquin Rodriguez, and especially Alberto Contador dominating. I just fell in love with Contador's way of racing. For me, he became an idol when I was young. I loved when he'd attack from afar. I like that mentality of not caring if you lose, of putting everything for the win. Win or nothing and nothing in between, that's something that I right now apply in my own form of racing. 2019 was Juan Ayuso's first year as a junior rider. He was riding for Bathco cycling team. His season was best described as a fierce but competitive rivalry with Carlos Rodriguez. That Carlos Rodriguez who almost finished on the podium in this year's Tour de France. Winning from a small group in Biscaico in Suglia and finishing third overall in the GC to winning the Spanish Junior National Championships on the road, it was clear that Ayuso had an abundance of talent. And with Carlos Rodriguez turning pro with Ineos Grenadiers in 2020, it opened the door for Juan Ayuso to dominate. And dominate he did. 15 stage wins out of 18 starts. Some of these wins were Remco Evenepoel-esque, where Juan Ayuso was over 12 minutes up the road compared to the second best rider. Ayuso won the Spanish Junior National Championships on the road and in the time trial. Ayuso, el ciclista de Javia, mostraba muy buenas piernas y consiguió la victoria. Segunda posición para el balear francés Van Nassar y tercero el cántabro Sergio Gutiérrez. Juan Ayuso, nuevo campeón de España contra Reloj Junior. He destroyed the Junior's Welt at Talavera, winning stage one in a bunch sprint. <laughs> Taking stage two by over a minute and 30 seconds to second place. And last but not least, he beat Alexander Vanukarov's son on stage four. This increased performance level caught the attention of Team UAE, in particular sports director Madsen. I started doing very good performances as a second year junior. The first races I won with gaps of 12 minutes and things like that. Then we started talking much more firmly and when the pandemic started and everything closed down, that's when the first offer came. I signed during lockdown. A five year contract for an undisclosed figure, Juan Ayuso had signed with Team UAE to learn and shadow Tare Pogaccia to one day himself win the Tour de France. Juan Ayuso spent the first half of the 2021 season with Team Colpac Balan, the under 23 development team of UAE. The crown jewel this season was his performance in the Baby Giro d'Italia. He won stage 2, 5, and 7, plus every single jersey of the race. La Tourne Rouge has a great video on Juan Ayuso that we recommend you watch. Some of the power data shared in that video will be featured in ours. Stage 5 in particular was an eye opener for many. The final climb had also been ridden by the professional Giro d'Italia, the likes of Egan Bernal and Mikel Landa. Juan Ayuso was faster, 24 seconds faster, averaging 6.59 watts per kilos for 13 minutes and 40 seconds. He put over a minute into Johannesson, who is no slouch having won the Tour de l'Avenir previously. Stage 7 he did the exact same thing, seemingly never getting tired. Ayuso would attack, attack and attack again, winning by over 50 seconds. While Contador is his idol, he hasn't adopted his trademark style of dancing on the bike. Ayuso said this to Cycling News. When I'm on the edge, I feel better in the saddle. When I'm doing my intervals in training, I always do them seated. Juan almost had his first win for UAE, but couldn't sprint past Luis Leon Sanchez in one day race Villafranca de Odizia. Later in the season, the hopeful Juan Ayuso crashed out of the Tour de l'Avenir, preventing him from becoming the youngest rider ever 
to win the race of the future. The 2022 season was yet another turning point for the young Spaniard, with Juan Ayuso finishing fifth in the Catalonia. Now, but uh, Ayuso and uh, Almeida trying to con combine together. They are on their last legs there. And fourth in Romandy. Vlasov on the left hand side, Aguita on the right. Vlasov, Aguita, Aguita, Vlasov, but Aguita takes the win. Vlasov in second place. What Ayuso a and Ben O'Connor. He was poised to take the start in his first Grand Tour, the 2022 Vuelta a España. Here, he finished third overall. Yes, you heard right, third overall. The 19-year-old Juan Ayuso of Team UAE finished on the podium. The Townsville Tornado is uh, heading home, and he's working in a tempest here, I can tell you. Just look at the weather conditions. He is having a great day, and I was just looking at that front group as we look down now. We got uh, Evan Apul just controlling this group. Right next to him from UAE was Juan Ayuso. Further on, and we can see Mass has been you know, caught by Carlos Rodriguez and Ayuso here. And you know that is always the danger. You just go a bit too close to the red, and then you can pay further up with this real steep gradient. But Evan Poole, you know, again, he's going to make a lot of time on the GC men. Albeit, it was four minutes and 57 seconds behind winner Remco Evan Apul, who was 22 years of age. Juan Ayuso even had to overcome a positive COVID test during the race. Some of the power performances Ayuso put in were incredible, the most noteworthy one being the finish to Penas Blancas. Here he averaged 6.13 watts per kilo for over 45 minutes. You try holding that power the next time you're on your bike and just see how hard it is. Comparing these power numbers to the likes of Evan de Paul and Pogaccia, it's obvious that Ayuso has the capability to win big in the future. So it begs the question, can he win the 2023 Vuelta a España? While Juan Ayuso has started 2023 on fire, he's still young and has a lot to learn. We've seen him struggle with strategy at times, relying too much on his power in the past. He's also going up against the very best in Grand Tour racing right now, with the likes of Jonas Vingegaard, Primus Roglic and Remco Evenepoel taking to the start line. He may not even be the captain at UAE, as they've got Almeida, fresh of a podium in the Giro, also participating. The team as a whole is strong enough to perform well here. Jay Vine, Mark Soler and Almeida, all in the support of Juan Ayuso, could do some serious damage at the top of the GC, especially when you look at the parkour. Stage 3 were already in the Andorran Mountains, with two tough mountains coming at the end. Stages 6, 13, 14, 17 and 18 are all brutal with legendary climbs such as Col de Tourmalet and the Anglerou sprinkled in. We're excited to see what he can do. A couple of stage wins and another top 3 are not out of the question. So look into the future. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when Juan Ayuso will win a Tour de France if all goes well in his career. He'll struggle against Jonas Vingegaard and Remco Evenepoel as long as there's a plethora of time trialling kilometres and while Tadej Pogaccia is still team captain, it'll be slim pickings. However, UAE have made it clear that Juan Ayuso is the future of the team as they've signed him to a contract until 2028. He will have won at least one Tour de France before this contract expires. Let us know what you think in the comment section below.